Greetings, everyone. P. Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. That's right. It's Wednesday, new release day here on the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at the third full-length studio album from this guitar player. He's only been on the scene since like 2015, but man, he's got a slew of like EPs and single releases. This is his third full-length album on Black Hill Records, self-titled Jared James Nichols. Of course, the Epiphone Les Paul, Toten, finger-picking guitar player, right? Where he plays with his finger, not finger-picking, but yeah, I guess finger-picking, right? He doesn't play with a pick. And uh, he has made quite the name for himself as an endorser of uh, Epiphone Les Paul guitars. And he's kind of like a blues rock, blues metal player, sort of. Big blonde hair, right? And again, he basically plays guitar with his thumb and with his fingers. Not a hell of a lot going on in this uh, particular disc here. Basically just keeps repeating. Uh, there's the shot of him again from the cover. Right? Um, so yeah, brand new studio album. We have uh, 12 tracks. It's about 43 minutes, so it's not very long. A lot of tracks crammed into 43 minutes, so most of the songs run two and a half to four minutes long. Thereabouts. I think the longest song on here is just at five minutes long, and you got a couple in the four minute range, but most are like two and a half to three minutes. Really short, brief stuff. Uh, if, like I said, if you've never listened to the music of Jared James Nichols, uh, I always kind of equate him as a bluesier kind of Zach Wild, sort of. Uh, plays with a lot of fire and emotion. A lot of big riffs, a lot of screaming, pinch harmonics, and things like that. So he's he kind of is from the same cloth, but again, much more of a blues-driven guy, I think. Uh, other than that, he's very kind of unique-sounding, other than what I just said. Uh, he does sing as well, uh, and so here we got, uh, so he's on vocals and guitar. You got Dennis Holm on drums, Clark Singleton on bass, and then on two tracks, you got uh, Greg Garner, also on bass, produced and mixed by Eddie Spear, recorded at Blackberg Studios in uh, Nashville. Pretty good. I mean, I've I've been kind of following this guy. I don't have all of the stuff he's put out, but I have a few things. I kind of like what I hear. I'm very impressed by his guitar skills. He's not a bad singer either. I find sometimes that um, sometimes his songs are just not overly memorable to me but i think my opinion is changing a little bit with this album so let me, let me the good and the bad with this album so i think it starts off really strong uh my delusion easy come easy go down the drain and hardwired which start the album even bad roots is are pr they're all pretty good songs they're pretty rocking they're they're pretty bluesing loot bluesing pretty pretty bruising and bluesy uh there's a good amount of guitar soloing going on but it's never excessive uh and his vocals are kind of gritty like i think they really fit the music he doesn't have a great singing voice but it kind of fits the music what does it sound like um i don't know his voice kind of um it's sort of like Richie Kotzen-ish, but a little rougher, I think. That's kind of how I can best explain it, because when I hear him, I, I often think of Richie Kotzen, but he's a little more he's a little more gruff, uh, a little more of a gritty vocal style than Richie. Um, you know, and then you have some, yeah, there's a couple of uh, mellower tracks on here. I think the, the album, this, like I said, there's 13 tracks, uh, 12 tracks on here. I think it loses a little steam towards the end. The, the back half of the album is not quite as rocking as the first half, although uh, Good Time Girl is a really cool kind of groovy... Um, kind of bluesy hard rock heavy rock kind of track kind of you know reminds me i know i reviewed recently here on the channel uh the new one from the cold stairs right and i really like this a lot uh i get a little bit of that feel kind of like that just kind of power trio kind of heavy blues rock type of thing uh but you know a long way home is okay shadow dancer is okay hallelujah is okay saner fool and out of time it, it's the, the back half of the album just doesn't have quite have the energy of the front half and even though this album is fairly brief at like 43 minutes long, I think it could have it would have been better if minus a couple tracks, which just kind of meander and don't really do a lot for me. Would this have been a tighter 10 track album at like roughly 35 minutes? Probably. But what's good on here is really good. I give the guy a lot of credit. Like I said, he brings a lot of energy. He's a smoking guitar player. 
Um, and I think he's still kind of coming into his own as far as like songwriting goes. So some of this stuff is really memorable. I would say easily. Uh, to me, the first five tracks is the highlight of the album. The first five tracks and then Good Time Girl are easily my favorites. The other stuff is okay. But My Delusion, Easy Come, Easy Go, good choruses on some of these the, some of these tracks too. Down the Drain, Hardwired, Bad Roots, and Good Time Girl. Those to me are the highlights on the album, so go check out any of those. But overall, it's an enjoyable album. It's fun. Like I said, it's not too long. Probably could have been a little shorter, but I still think it's what's really good on here is, is a lot of fun and really enjoyable. I'm going to give this a 3.5 out of 5 star, right? Guitar playing is is excellent he's a really really great player i think he like i said he's still i think working on his songwriting skills it, it's this i find the material on this album a little more catchy and immediate than some of the other stuff i've heard from him uh but again we have some songs here that just don't really click with me personally but um but i like most of it enough so uh yeah so jared james nichols self-titled album on Black Hill Records, 3.5 out of 5 star. If you've heard it already, let us know what you think of this album in the comments below. If you haven't, go check it out and then come back and let us know what you think. I think you'll like this. If you like good modern, you know, hard rock and blues rock, I think uh, there's lots to like on here. Is this a drop dead classic? Probably not, but is it a really fun, energetic, enjoyable, guitar driven blues rock album? That indeed it is. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Visit us on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Please subscribe if you haven't already and click on that notification bell so you get alert of all of our content as it posts. And please do hit the like button before you leave. We've also got the links down below to our Ko-Fi page for channel donations as well as our merch page. So thanks for checking that out as well and all your contributions. And we'll see you here with more new stuff. Should have a couple uh, reviews for you here today. I'm hoping to get, uh, we should have the new Transatlantic big live set. Rick Labonte is going to help me out with that we've also got the new redemption coming up uh, i got all sorts of other stuff sitting here so uh we'll get to it all as we get to it it's got the the golden grass just came in a couple days ago i got some some cool new stuff from uh, heavy psych sounds some of those are fairly new so i've got uh, a big plate of stuff that i'm going to be reviewing over the next couple weeks so uh stay tuned each and every wednesday for what's hot with see you tranquility day till next time imp paro see you real soon take care Bye bye